internet, my name is Cody Armour, you are watching Geeks Under Grace, and around here we use the word discernment a lot. And no, I am not saying this sermon. Discernment, the ability to see and understand people, things, and situations clearly and intelligently. At its core and in our context, basically it means being able to know what is truth and what is not, what's right and what's wrong. So the question is, how do you do that? A lot of Christians are going to tell you, well, that you just stay away from anything bad. No movies, no video games, no pop culture whatsoever. We have a video about that right here. In fact, if you watch that video, you'll find out that here at Geeks Under Grace, we say that you should, as a Christian, be consuming that pop culture. But you need to do so wisely. If any kind of nudity stirs up sexual desire, Game of Thrones, probably not for you. If seeing someone steal a car makes you want to steal a car, probably not gonna play Grand Theft Auto. And this goes with basically just about everything. If it negatively affects your walk with God, then don't do it. But that doesn't mean that everything is off limits. For example, me, I love anime. I think it's some of the most story-driven art out there. Others might just see little girls in tentacles. Probably not for them. And to dig a little bit deeper into this idea of discernment, you can actually watch just about anything and pull truth out of it because truth is so interwoven into who we are. Something we do quite often here at Geeks Under Grace is we'll take something like the Ninja Turtles and we're able to relate their characteristics to characteristics found in the Bible. Granted, that takes a lot of hard work and practice to do. I could have never related Ninja Turtles to the Bible. That is all Sean Bain. He's the guy that wrote that, fantastic dude on staff. But anyways, if you learn to do that, it can be incredibly satisfying. In short, discernment is kind of like I'd say eat the meat, spit out the bones. And anybody can do it, you just need to be wise. And the next time you consume any kind of pop culture, ask yourself, why do I wanna watch this? Where is my heart at? And could it cause me to stumble? But anyways, I just wanted to clarify that with you guys because we throw that word around a lot and I wanted you guys to know what we meant and where we were coming from. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, have you ever stopped listening or watching or playing something because you felt it was hurting your walk with God? For me, when I became a Christian, I deleted all of my normal music and just started listening to Christian music because I wanted to get my mind right. Now I have some secular songs on my phone, but I'm very selective about it even today. But please leave your comment in the comments section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geeky content. My name is Cody Armour, and you are watching Geeks Under Grace. I will see you guys later.